So I'm going to Coachella in a month, uh, and that's a big music festival, and I, Thomas Hawk and I are gonna take big lenses down there and take a lot of photos. And we're looking for things to do with those photos. So, you know, uh, maybe a new kind of website, maybe uh, uh, a little bit of painting, uh, some fun fun uh, stuff to do with, uh, with these photos. And uh, I just saw it. It's called Psycho Paint and other things. And it's from Psycho Soft, which we're gonna see right now. And who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Mathieu Gosselin. Yep. I'm the captain at uh, Psychosoft. Yeah. And um, we are a crazy creative uh, software uh, company. So we make uh, software that helps people create amazing stuff with no skills. With no skills? Yes. I have no skills. Yeah. So okay, I can take a fine. decent photo. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, even yeah. then, uh, somebody like Chase Jarvis can make a, a much better image. Um, you have a variety of products, so yeah. it, 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 when I usually talk to a CEO, they have one product to show me, and you have, I think, three, and we're going to see two of them, I think, today. The first one's called Psycho uh, Paint, right? Yeah, yeah. And this lets you take uh, any image or start with nothing and paint like you're painting with oil or with yeah. the watercolor or something yeah, like that, absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, there's a lot of iPad apps that do sketching and painting and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What makes Psycho uh, Paint different? Um, first of all, it's for people who have like no fucking clue whatsoever. Oh, uh, should I say that on camera? So you can say no, no freaking. Clue. I'm French, so that's okay. I can swear. It doesn't. Uh, so um, yeah, it's like you know, to make a proper painting, you have to have some skills, right? And yeah. uh, it's it's a bit daunting if you don't know how to you know you you know you can't really express yourself. Yeah. And what we found with people who use psycho paint is like they sort of feel like into this expert mode. So they can very rapidly uh, come up with uh, amazing work and, um, and feel proud about themselves. So for instance, on, the, on our current app, we have uh, you know, um, like a teacher who sent me some sex notes. They say, oh, your software is amazing because I did with, with autistic kids. Yeah. And for them, uh, they can express themselves emotionally using your tool. It's, it's amazing for them. Or like a guy who says, oh, for 15 years, I haven't painted anything. And now, because of your software, I'm getting back into it. Yeah. So, so you uh, with Psycho Paint. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm seeing a picture here. Yeah. You can just import a picture you made and then start painting on top of the picture. Yeah. yeah. Can you show us a little bit about yeah. that? And maybe I'll get the GoPro over here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's the current web version. Okay. Oh, great. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, you know I just have to. I don't have to worry about color or anything. I can just. Uh, you know, just paint it down. Just paint it down. It will select the color automatically for, for you. Of course, we have a bunch of uh, different brushes. So this is like pointy style. Yeah. If I hide the, you know, the original image, you can see what it does. It's not exactly like photo editing. It's more like photo painting. It's painting using the color of that photo. Yep. And I have a whole bunch of tools. Okay. Now, here you're using a brush that, that has almost like a, a oil-based uh, uh, texture to it, yeah, right? Yeah. And they, these textures actually uh, show up. You actually have a 3D model that shows the paint, the paint uh, texture, right? Uh, so actually, this is the web version. Okay. So this is our, our um, current product, and now we are working on the iPad version, ah. where we take things to the next level. Okay. And this will be the very first uh, real-time 3D painting software. Okay. Now um, this is uh, not out yet. This is coming out yeah. in a couple months, right? Yeah. So we're getting a sneak peek. So you're the very first in the world to see. <laughs> Excellent. That's what <laughs> I like to see. To see that see. technology, you know, like the interface is 3D stuff. You can customize the the, the background. Obviously, it will be uh, it will be faster. Uh, so yeah. I will take a sample just for now because yeah. it will be quicker. Um, So you start with an original painting? Yeah, or I mean, picture? or you can start from scratch, actually. Our new, uh, um, the new direction we want to go is really like um, be a social network for painters. And that's where we, you know, we realize on the web version, we started with that, like photo painting. And then people get better at painting. Yeah. And then they want like a, a social gallery to, to paint. So and that's one of the, 
So show us some of the ink, yeah. ink uh, textures. So for can. instance, uh, okay, I have to write the stuff. So okay, so this is very classic. Yeah. And then I have some cool uh, stuff. So it takes the center of. Uh, I can make it bigger. Yeah. Oops. Like this. And you can tell it, it, it's hard to see here, but there's actually a texture to the to the ink. Absolutely. Right? So we have the depth information, and if yeah. I move the iPad around, you can see it changed the light uh, position. You know, oh, so cool. it simulates like there is a light coming from the top. Yep. And then if I go like this or like that, you know, you can see it goes darker. Yep. You know, and then uh, indeed because we have this uh, depth information and the light map, we can 3D print. Yeah. So what? So uh, there's printers now that'll print the actual texture of yeah. the ink. Yeah. So that, that's a, that's a technique that's been created by a company called OC that have been bought by Canon to reproduce a real painting. So like uh, they reproduce the Van Gogh painting stuff like that. And the, we are the very first uh, software to leverage that technology uh, simply from software. So directly from the software, because you can rotate things around, you, we can output something like this. Wow. So this is the very first prototype. Wow. And this costs, uh, what, about $100 for this size? Uh, yeah, we estimate something like this, yeah. Okay. It's still early stage technology, but yeah. But if you want a, something that actually looks like a painting com that comes off your iPod uh -huh. or iPad, uh, that's pretty cool. The, these are tools are for iPad yeah. and Apple product only, right? Yeah. Well, this is web. Only, um, this is web and this is only iPad. Okay. Then later on, maybe Android and uh, Cool. And we could spend an hour uh, talking about the algorithms and talking about how, how you did this uh, tool because this is a uh, Pretty interesting stuff, and it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, what you, you started showing me after you were painting yeah. with me for yeah. a little while was this new web page yeah. tool, right? Yeah. What, what is the what is? Tell me about that. Yeah. So the the thinking behind it is we want really people to express their creativity, like uh, without skills. Yeah. And uh, um, I was very frustrated, like I could not, uh, you know customize my own website, you know, I have to tell my, my developer to do this, to review the design and stuff like this. Wouldn't it be just simpler if I just drag some stuff and boom, it's done, you know? Yeah. So, um, so this is a new web page creation tool called yeah. Pagey. Yes. And uh, it, it's not out yet, it's coming this summer, I think, you yeah. said? Yeah. All right. And so I get, a, I get Pagey and I get a page. Yeah. And then I can do what with it? Um, show me around. Show yeah, me, okay. Show me some Pretty of the stuff you want. Um, basically, we try to reduce all the, the, the barriers to web creation. So this is our page uh, home page. Yeah. And if I move, okay. I hope the demo god will be with me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's still beta, so I copy the link. So you just copy the link of a video. I copy the link of a video. Yeah. Copy it, um, paste it on our page, and that's it. It's already embedded in the page. No HTML code or JavaScript. Yeah. And uh, you can rotate stuff like that, and that's it. You know, when I preview it, okay, and there's a. a so you just put a video that looks like uh, it, it, you put it, this uh, iPad uh, picture around it automatically, yeah. Yeah. and you can twist it and do all sorts of yeah. stuff. So yeah, normally like websites have a very rigid structure, grid yeah. and stuff, and we break that stuff. So, so for a band who wants to put their music video on their homepage, yeah. this would be awesome. Yeah. Huh? Hopefully, I can change the cover. Yes, yep. and that's it. So give me a sense of what um, Pagey uh, can do. Okay. Um, so basically, you just drag and drop a bunch of stuff uh, from your desktop or anywhere into the browser. And, and so you don't, and uh, you can drag a picture like you have a so picture. So I drag a picture and boom, that's done. And it's live right now. So if and somebody then, else went to that yeah, URL. If I, if I share the URL, boom, uh, they will see exactly what I see. And so you didn't need to upload that picture. It did a, It did the upload to All your right. servers so automatically. So yeah, it works a bit like Dropbox. So that's why it's a bit of magic. But basically, the image is on your computer first. And then we, uh, we show the client side image. We swap it on the background. And, and you know, so for, the, for the user, it's completely transparent. But actually, it feels instant. So as soon as the video finish, uh, the, the image finish uploaded, it's already uh, visible, so. Um, and you can copy and paste any, uh, almost anything, right? Yeah. Like a, a PDF file. So I can copy a photo here, copy image. Even that stuff normally is, is a bit difficult to do because it's base 64 and all that stuff. You can copy videos or yeah. other kinds of things. 
but yeah, let me show you how to make a video, how to paste the video. So I copy the URL of a YouTube video or a Vimeo or whatever, and then paste it on the page and that's it. It's already embedded in the page. So you can, uh, up. You can even twist it. Twist it and everything, and it's fully, wow. uh, up. You can add, uh, you know, some links. So like if I want uh, to add a link to this page, I copy it, paste it on an image, and it had this little link over here. And if I preview it again, up, I can see that there's a link and it will take me there. Wow. Uh, it works with documents, so up. And you didn't have to click on the image and look for a, a, a link button. Yeah. And, you, know, you just copied and pasted it right yeah. on top of the image. Yeah. That's really cool. I, but that took you a lot of work, right? To, uh, to do that, yeah. 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 We've been is, it, is this all JavaScript and HTML5? Yeah. Or? This is all uh, JavaScript HTML5, so jQuery uh, behind, but it's all our custom uh, library and stuff like that. It's very nice. If you, if you copy some JavaScript into this, like... Uh, ah, not like yet, it, but it's something uh, we plan to do. Yeah. Okay. So there was a previous tool called Zoo that you could copy uh, JavaScript uh, yeah? blocks and paste them in, and they would actually run. It was yeah. really cool. Your tool is uh, much better designed. It's much uh, well, nicer. Actually, we can do uh, we can pass iframes. So I copy the iframe here, yeah, and paste it there, and uh, boom, that's it. I mean, normally the the preview of iframe, I yeah. think it's still uh, working for us. But you see, it's like interactive, uh, you know, content. Like uh, wow. Very cool. I, uh, so tell me what uh, your okay. your plan is to ship this this summer. Yeah. And this is a great web tool. Like my brother owns a bar yeah. and he doesn't know how to do web yeah. pages, but this anybody can do. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, how, are you going to charge for this? What, tell me how you're going to build a business with this. So it would be a freemium model. So like it's free to use if you um, have our logo on it and you have limited amount of feature. Yeah. Then if you want your custom domain name. So if people uh, so like you want Robert, robertscobble.com yeah. and you can register directly within our site and, uh, and that's it, you know, like for instance, this page can be tied to page.net. I mean, we use our own uh, tool for our own home page. Yeah. As soon as you modify something, boom, it's, it changed. Wow. So it's like instant web creation. You know, we think uh, weeks and all that stuff, you know, they, you take some time, you publish it, uh, but here it's like instant. So after people also, could collaborate on the website. You could invite your mom, like do a scrapbook together, show your, your um, holidays photo and put something together, you're at an event or something. Or uh, it, it can be a file sharing services. So like if I drop a zip, you know, or a PDF or whatever, boom, it's already there. I can already download it. You know, um, That's cool. It's very, very flexible. That's cool, and I knew it was a zip, and it put the right picture on it. Yeah, or if it's PDF, it's up. And you're just dragging and dropping from your desktop yeah. right in there. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. Really nicely thought out. And then uh, up, I can download it already. Why has it taken until until now to get this kind of web uh, development tool where you can just drag and drop and not really know much about how it works? Why it taken so long to do that? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just. Uh, you, know, you have to this, to understand both the, the technology and the user experience side of it. And this drag and drop thing has been around for long. But here, is the trick is really to make it the, in, the experience seamless. So like, um, um, like all the magic is happening behind. You don't have to worry about it. So there's no like huge progress bar and you have to wait for things to, to see. Yeah. That's really where we, you know, we, we make our magic happening. So for the user, it's completely transparent. You can edit everything, stuff like that. And uh, everything happens behind. So yeah, it's, it's bridging the, the offline and the online. Are you gonna um, join these two products together so I can mm. design pictures and then have them show yeah. up? As, uh, uh, actually, we have like 900,000 uh, registered users on PsychoPaint. Yeah. So when we're ready to roll on Pagey, it will be like, okay, everyone will have their own gallery already created on Pagey. And the way we will solve uh, content creation, because most people still aren't that creative, they still yeah. need uh, some help. So we will fetch your uh, LinkedIn profile, like you connect it, and then create a beautiful page for which uh, you know you can have a, a Dropbox, and people will come on your uh, on your page and drop their card. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. You know, something like that. You know, so. It will make a very beautiful, and once again, it, it doesn't feel like a proper HTML page, but it is, you know. It's all SEO friendly and stuff like that. 
and you can drop a page like this and people will drop their visit card on your page or it will work with Facebook, it will fetch your most popular photo and create a beautiful profile and you just have to decorate it, like add some assets that we provide. And you can drag all those things around too. Right? Yeah, so wow. you can, you, we provide a bunch of uh, decoration and you could uh, upgrade obviously, like if I want to make things a bit prettier, you know, I can uh, have uh, those little things here, uh, make some art, of course I can change the background. And that's it, everything I've done is like, uh, you know, instant. Wow. Uh, as soon as I, as I moved it, you know, it can be seen. This is really beautiful. So Thank I, you. Uh, thanks for doing this. I, I'm looking forward to trying it because... I, I, in fact, I just sent you an invite uh, to your email. <laughs> but you can see, you can drag live JavaScript on there, you videos, uh, all sorts of stuff, and you lay it out and really change the look of it just by a click of a button. It's really crazy. It's really nicely done. Thank you. Um, where do we, uh, uh, so tell me about your company. How much, mm -hmm. uh, how were you funded? How, how did you build this company? Because okay. so, you're um, doing some pretty pre crazy programming behind the scenes. Um, so uh, I've been running this company for three years. Uh, two years ago, we went to the Techstars program. Uh, and then we raised uh, 800K from uh, including Atlas Venture and Boulderton. We have some cool angels, so some people from Harmonix, the guys who done Guitar Hero and uh, City of Bright Cove. And uh, so we're raising uh, another round and, uh, and I'm here for this month. So, yeah. <laughs> so well, you're here with Seed Camp, right? Yeah, I'm here with Seed Camp, yes. And Seed Camp is uh, what, an incubator in London? Yeah, uh, in incubator, I don't know if that's the right or word, but okay. it's... Um, Something like that. Yeah, Helps yeah. startups yeah. get started. Yeah, yeah. So in Europe and then, uh, you know, they... They help uh, you know, people like me to reach the US market and to find investors and stuff like this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been great. Yeah. Very cool. What's happening in, in the Europe scene? How, yeah. how does it compare to yeah. what you're seeing here? In well, Central obviously, Central. you know, to raise money, it's a bit more like uh, water in the desert, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the valuations are, are not as good and stuff like that. That's why I'm here. You know? I'm here to the US. We're a US company, actually, uh, now. Yeah. But uh, I started it in Europe and uh, yeah, it's a bit more difficult, especially for me, like a very consumer-centric uh, thing. Is that starting to change? Because uh, yes. I've been going to Europe yeah. for more than a decade yes. now, and it seems like uh, lately uh, I'm seeing more companies mm. getting funded in Europe yeah. and, and really uh, staying in Europe. Yeah. SoundCloud, for instance, uh -huh. stays Definitely. in Berlin, yes. right? Yeah, so they, you know, they, they're like the, you know, the flagship, they take everyone, you know, and uh, because we see more of those success, investors are more confident and then they can put more money and it, it goes on and on. So yeah, we, there's some really cool companies in Berlin, in London that develops and the ecosystem is growing really fast, you know, so. Very so. cool. Where do we uh, get, and get these two products? What, what's uh, the best URL they go to? Okay, so psychopaint.com to try psychopaint. Yep. Soon it will be on iPad and uh, pagey.net. To, if you want to sign up for the private beta, okay. of course. And uh, that's it. Very cool. Thank you so much for showing me this. Thank stuff. you very it's really, much for your invite. It's really cool stuff that you're doing. Thank you.